Hello friends, my name is Neelima Jangir. I am a student of IIPS DAVV. Today I give you an intro of pattern matching and what is a new pattern matching algorithm. Before starting, we should know what is pattern matching. Pattern matching is the way of comparing two or more text or array of characters. It is also called string matching. Now we should know what is naive pattern matching algorithm. So in naive pattern matching algorithm, no pre-processing is done. Comparison is done in left to right order on the characters in two arrays. When mismatch occurs, pattern is moved one position to the right with respect to the text. Again comparison is done from left to right. There are some applications of pattern matching like in test editing programs where a particular word is supplied by the user and is matched in a given text using pattern matching process. And secondly, in DNA sequence to match the strengths of DNA of two organisms and find how similar the two organisms are. Now what is the algorithm? So input to the algorithm are the text T and pattern to be matched. Then length of text T is computed which is N and length of text P which is pattern is computed as M. For every possible value of shift S from left to right we compare the characters in both arrays and print shift value of S on successful match. So for S equal to 0 to N minus M initialize the counter up to M counters value is initialized to 0 a loop is construct from I equal to 1 to M which is match each and every character of pattern P with characters of T so when any one character is matches with a character of T counter is incremented then after loop if counters value is equal to the m which is length of p then pattern is matched and we write the value of shift s so we compute the time complexity of this algorithm time complexity normally we can say is the number of instructions in a program which are executed with their frequencies so in first instruction which is n length of t its frequency is 1 so total is 1 similarly for length m its total is also 1 so for loop s equal to 0 to n minus m the frequency is n minus m plus 2 so total is n minus m plus 2 then when counter is initialized to 0 its frequency is m plus 1 n minus m plus 1 and total is n minus m plus 1 then we construct a for loop which is continue for i equal to 1 to m its frequency is m plus 1 into n minus m plus 1 so total is m plus 1 into n minus m plus 1 now the counter incremented in this loop so its total is m into n minus m plus 1 and when this loop is complete counter is matches with length m so if length matches we write s so this total is n minus m plus 1 now we compute the total value of total column so we get 3 plus 2m plus 4 into n minus m plus 1. This means time complexity is 3 plus 2m into n minus m plus 1 plus 4 into n minus m plus 1. So for higher values of n and m when n is less m is less than n the complexity of this algorithm is big O of m into n minus m plus 1. Now we can understand this problem 
using a example in which a text t is given and we have to match a pattern p so first we construct the length n of t which is 15 then we construct length of pattern p which is 4 then we compute n minus m which is 15 minus 4 11 so s is vary from 0 to 11 now each and every character of pattern p is match with characters of t so when s equal to 0 0 match with 0 0 match with 0 0 match with 0 but one does not match with zero so finally answer is pattern is unmatched so we incremented the value of s which is s equal to 1 now when s equal to 1 zero match with zero zero match with zero zero match with zero one match with one so all characters of p are matched with characters of t so pattern is matched so we write the value of s which is 1 now we incremented value of s so at s equal to 2 0 match with 0 0 match with 0 0 does not match with 1 1 does not match with 0 so pattern is unmatched at s equal to 3 0 match with 0 Zero does not match with one. Zero match with zero. One does not match with zero. So two characters are unmatched. So pattern is unmatched. At s equal to four, zero does not match with one. Zero match with zero. Zero match with zero. One does not match with zero. So pattern is unmatched. Similarly, at s equal to five, zero match with zero. Zero match with zero, zero match with zero, one match with zero. So a pattern is matched. So we write the value of s, which is five. Now, at s equal to six, zero match with zero, zero match with zero, zero does not match with one, one does not match with zero. So a pattern is unmatched. by following similar procedure at s equal to 7 a pattern is unmatched at s equal to 8 pattern is unmatched at s equal to 9 pattern is unmatched at s equal to 10 pattern is unmatched at s equal to 11 pattern is matched zero match with zero zero match with zero zero match with zero one match with one so we write down the value of s where a pattern matches occur which is 1 5 and 11